What's something weird funny embarrassing you've done on autopilot? Started unbuttoning and unzipping my trousers while I walked towards the toilet. Just like I do at home because I'm efficient like that. Except I was at work and was walking through the shared office. My dad did this at airport security. He took off his shoes, jacket, belt and then his shirt before he finally realized what he was doing and where he was. Not sure if this counts as autopilot but I was about 14 at school, and we had this classmate who had Down syndrome. He kept saying suck my dong and a bunch of us couldn't help but laugh. When time came for our teacher to do the register, she called out my name. Instead of saying here, miss, I said suck my but managed to stop myself by slapping my hand over my mouth. People started laughing and our teacher couldn't quite make out what I said, wondering why everyone was laughing. One girl saved my butt by telling the teacher that I accidentally said here, mum instead of here, miss, tldr, classmate keeps saying suck my dong, so I nearly told my teacher to suck my dong, girl saves my butt. Dang Watterson. Was in college working full time nights as a security guard and full time class, stopped at a red light, pushed my garage door opener and drove through, luckily there were no cars around. Put my bluetooth headphones in the freezer to charge. Wanted to go to work with the car, but forgot to turn the engine on. I stood there for 10 minutes trying to figure it out. A neighbor even came to help me and didn't see the problem. My dog's favorite part of the day is dinner time. I pull out her food. She starts swagging and doing the tippy taps. Get a scoop of food, and instead of going to her bowl I dump the full scoop into the trash can. She then just looked at me with the saddest eyes and I felt terrible, so she got a little bit extra food and some pets. This is the first comment that I've genuinely laughed at. Poor pup ha ha I can't. I used to work at the airport, and got used to yelling the word next please a lot. One week, I was working really long shifts, and was pretty tired. I decided to stop at McDonald's on my way home from work and went through the drive through When I stopped to tell them my order, I yelled next please into the speaker. Woke up, automatically got out of bed, got dressed, brushed my teeth, packed up my backpack, headed out of my dorm, happened to glance at the clock in the lounge. It was 1.30am. Duck mornings suck. I once tried to zoom in on a paper when I wanted to fix a tiny detail in my drawing. I was very tired mind you, but that was still sort of funny to me because I did it like 4 to 5 times before realizing wait this isn't my phone. Go to check the mail, grab the keys, oh yeah there is garbage recycling that needs to go out, I stop at mailbox, I get mail, throw away the garbage, throw away the mail. Throw away my keys. A neighbor asks if I am going to need those. I just kind of stop, look around a bit and say well, yeah, probably. I laugh sputtered at this, sorry. <laughs> Saying goodbye to my aunt at her husband's funeral, and accidentally said yeah it was fun, when she said thanks for coming. Yeah it was fun, Errol. <laughs> I was feeling an encroaching sickness coming upon me one time. So I decided to be proactive and make myself a couple of days worth of the most baller chicken soup I could manage in advance. So I'd be able to eat well even when I was dying of the lurgy. I chopped the carrots, I sorted the onions, I stewed the chicken bones, and I cooked that mother down for 8 hours into the most delicious stock you could imagine. Then I poured it all through a colander into the sink. The pipe underneath my sink was broken so I put a bucket below it to catch the water leaking out. When it was full I poured it back in the sink, and proceeded to flood my kitchen. Similarly, I have made chicken stock, got out the strainer, poured my stock through it and down the sink, leaving myself with a nice pile of depleted bones and a new, lower estimation of my intelligence. One morning I was sick and stayed home from work. My wife was being really awesome and served me breakfast. Trying to show her how thankful I was I said thanks mom. We both just stared at each other for a second then burst out laughing. I used to work on a farm and we always took our boots off before entering the homestead for meal breaks. One afternoon I absentmindedly unbuttoned my jeans and started to take them off instead of my boots. I guess my brain decided I was done for the day. I was getting out of my car and went to take a sip of my iced coffee. Unfortunately I put the end of my car key in my mouth instead. 
Always running to catch the subway after waiting at the crosswalk in front of the station. Casually walking with my friend in the same area yesterday. Started running when the cross sign lit up. He was like WTF. Pavlov's commute. Came into work to work front of house after several extended nights of profound insomnia. I was holding up okay until a gal walks up with a dog in her arms. I always chat people up about their dogs because a. Dogs are awesome and b. People love to talk about their dogs. And often tip a little more when they feel like they've actually connected with you. Today though. I didn't have two neurons to rub together to break from the script of hey what can I get you. Here's your total. Do you want a receipt and so I lean over the counter like a drunk. Lock my sleep starved. And focused googly eyes on this poor lady. And blurt out. Your dog. Who is he and then expectantly stare at her like that was a normal and not at all insane thing that I just kinda vomited at her. She kinda stared at me and clutched her dog a little closer and I think I probably went a little cross eyed and tried to salvage the conversation by talking more. I don't remember what I said but it was definitely not an improvement on the situation. It may not have even been a coherent sentence. This one made me cry laughing. Couldn't even read it to my bf because I was laughing too hard. Which made him laugh harder. I made dinner. It was some exotic chicken and rice. Wanted a drink. Poured orange juice in my chicken and rice. Tasted great though. Glad the flavor combination worked out for you. I once added cat food to my muesli bowl and put oat milk in my cat's bowl. Neither one of us was impressed. Started to trim my beard and didn't see the guard was off. Huge swath of beard gone in one swipe. The kids still refer to me during the beardless months as creepy daddy and I am not allowed to shave it off again. Creepy daddy omg I'm dying. I was sitting in math class one day, and I was just humming to myself while the teacher explained something at the board. She went to turn off the projector, which is next to my desk. Then, still standing next to me, she gives me this weird look and asks, is something wrong? I had been so deep in thought that I had lost the tune but kept humming. So I was now just humming along, low HMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMM
you cannot under any circumstances pass a blue light or flag, because that protects employees working on under between rolling stock beyond the blue signal. Driving home in the car late one night, I decided to take a shortcut through the local university. I go around a corner and see a blue light marking a police call station. Immediate conclusion. Crap. Can't go that way. Glad I'm not alone. I've done this driving through the UIC campus on my way to work at least once a month. I've worked as a caregiver for adults with mental and physical disabilities for more than a decade now. I'm a caregiver. I do basic cares, which include helping many adult men do their daily activities. Things like, shaving, buttoning shirts, making sure belts are on correctly, so on and so forth. Once on a date, I was a bit buzzed, I fixed my date's shirt, and told him he needed to look in the mirror and see if he wanted a shave. I've only been working as a caregiver for 2 months and I'm already doing this sort of thing. Washed an apple at the sink, dried it with a paper towel, turned and tossed the apple in the trash and stood there holding the towel like an idiot. I have thrown away ceramic plates more times than I care to admit. Sometimes in the shower I fill my mouth up with water and just kind of let it pour out. I was brushing my teeth standing in the bathroom one day, fully dressed before work. I just let the toothpaste pour slowly out of my mouth and onto my clothes as if I were in the shower. Now every time I brush my teeth my boyfriend warns me not to spit all over myself. I do that in the shower too. Haven't done it with toothpaste though. I always take my shirt off after my shoes when I get undressed. So there I was at around 4.30 in the morning headed through security to fly across country for a festival. I'm nowhere close to awake and I'm totally running on autopilot. I'm throwing my stuff on the conveyor. I take my shoes off. And I started to take my shirt off and the FFS why was she attractive? So lady was like slow down so we just met. I didn't know they came with a sense of humor. Should have said sorry. Time zone difference, I'm a couple hours ahead of you. My wife's friend and her husband were leaving after having dinner at our house. As they're leaving, she says love you to my wife. Naturally, I respond love you t. Yeah, good night. I will sometimes intentionally end phone calls with my friends with an I love you because they almost always say it back automatically. They get mad after and I laugh hysterically and hang up. Just today I went to the grocery store, packed everything into my backpack at self-checkout and went home. As soon as I got home I remembered I never actually paid. To all those asking if I went back and paid, I did. As soon as I noticed, I went back, swiped my card in the self-checkout and got it over with. Nobody had even noticed. The store is about 300 meters from my apartment complex. For clarification, as to how I got away with it, the self-checkout works by swiping your personal discount card, then grabbing a scanner that lights up. You scan all your items before putting them into your cart basket. When you're done, you put the scanner back, then go to one of the self-checkout registers, swipe your discount card again to create a bill to pay, then pay it using your debit card. I did everything except swipe my card and pay, since I usually do all this before packing everything. Yesterday I was worried if they'd fit so I wanted to find out first, put them all into my backpack and then went my merry way without a second thought. Th for me it was, pay, take bags, walk home, get home wait, I drove didn't I, I left the car in the parking lot, I walked and took the bus for practically all of my 20s so it was muscle memory to walk home. I lived in the same house for 16 years, moved out. Years later I did some summer work as a construction worker, on my old house. First day I walked in, mindlessly did what I always did when I came in, waltzed into the kitchen during the family's breakfast, opened the fridge and peered inside for a long while looking for something to eat. I came to myself, dude I don't live here anymore, looked up, and the family was all staring at me from the breakfast table, forks in midair, at this unknown construction worker making himself right at home. I was so embarrassed I backed out, stammering the whole time and trying to have them understand I'm so sorry I used to live here, wasn't allowed inside work at that job site for a while. Weird that they weren't more understanding about it but it sounds like you did explain it pretty poorly haha. <laughs> My wife says she once ate pizza at a friend's house and, out of habit, threw the crust on the floor for the dog. 
Those friends didn't have a dog. I have two kids and I'm in the habit of pointing out things I think they'll like. Rainbows. The moon. Nice dogs. One day in work I turned to a young male childless colleague and said oh look over there. A cat I got a weird look. I've got three kids. On the way to work once I pointed to the sky and excitedly said oh look. A helicopter. To my empty car. Was signing for a parcel on one of those electronic things delivery drivers use. And I wasn't paying any attention and ended up staring at it for a minute and then just drawing a straight line on the screen and handing it back. He was confused. Apparently so were you. Go to the cinema to watch Quantum of Solace. Walk in 5 minutes late. Furious car chase on screen. Instinctively try to find my seat belt. Safety first. I was tired at the time, but sat down on the toilet thinking that the seat was up and just pee all over the seat, floor and myself. Not a great thing to do, or clean up at 3am. I work as a housekeeper and when we knock on a door we yell housekeeping and when we throw laundry down the chute we yell heads, so those below watch their heads. Anyway, one day I knocked on a door and loudly yelled heads later that day the back of my mind remembered my mistake and made sure to correct it but I overcorrected and stupidly yelled housekeeping down the laundry chute. Well once you've done that, you have to jump down the laundry chute. Go to make your call outs count. I was looking all over for my keys and finally thought that I might have left them in the car. I went outside and my car was locked. So I pulled my keys out of my pocket, unlocked the door, opened the door and realized how much of an idiot I am. I said no babes you're wrong to my boss at a management meeting two weeks ago because I was daydreaming about my boyfriend. Kill me now. I said this to a comment he made. Kind of like hearing and seeing one person, but thinking about another. I hope this makes sense. Not sure how to explain. It didn't go unnoticed. It was slow and painful. I tried to save it along the lines of didn't want you to hit reality all that hard so I'll let you down nice and slowly. I then looked at everyone else and basically said it is really just a question of time until I call you all babes btw. Awkward to the maximum. But thank you all. Daydreaming about how wrong he is apparently. Here you go. If you need anything else, just let me know. As I graciously put down the plate with food I cooked for the only person in the room. Me. I hope you tipped yourself extra that night. Took my my newborn kid to the grocery store with my wife. I had a buggy with the baby. She had the buggy with the groceries. I had been rocking the buggy back and forth to soothe the kid since he was getting antsy. My wife and I traded buggies. So she had the baby. I had the groceries. Cue me rocking the buggy with groceries in the cereal aisle. Making cookies. I cracked an egg and dumped the contents into the garbage. Thankfully caught myself before putting the shell into the cookies. I did that not once, but twice in a row, while making waffles one time. I was late to my first day of work. Autopilot me chose to go to my previous employer of 15 years where I had quit. I realized about 5 minutes before getting there and had to drive about 25 minutes back in the direction I came from. Old job was about 30 minutes depending on traffic. New job was about 5. Same industry. New co-workers just laughed it off. 15 years of the same commute. Same truck. Same tools. Just another Monday on autopilot. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. for now.